the Kirby glitch that was never documented for over 25 years. When I was a kid, I had accidentally discovered a glitch in Kirby Superstar on the Super Nintendo that, to this day, I haven't seen mentioned anywhere online. Perhaps I just don't know how to search for it, or what it is actually called. But I've been combing through pages and pages of online documentation and videos to see if anyone had ever mentioned it. And so far, my search has turned up nothing. But maybe you, the person watching this video, can explain what exactly happened and how it can be recreated. Because it has been a very, very long time since I've first seen it. Almost an entire lifetime ago. So I hope you enjoy my tale about the glitch that was lost to time. So most of you who watch this channel probably tune in for Mario or Zelda, because obviously, those are the two series that I cover most often. But the truth is, the one fan base that I was totally engrossed in as a kid was Kirby. And I don't really share that too often. No particular reason, of course, it's just something I don't find myself talking about. The Kirby games, specifically Kirby Superstar, might have been one of the most influential games for me socially as a kid, as it is the first fan base I attached myself to online. It's 1998, and I'm online discovering the World Wide Web, and the first community I land in is Kirby. I play Kirby Superstar over and over and over again. Quite frankly, more than Super Mario 64 or even Ocarina of Time, two games I talk about a lot. I even created an entire world within RPG Maker based off the Kirby series, and within made awesome recreations of my favorite Kirby environments. I leave my game running while I mimic the art the best I could in terms of recreating it, and this process took me through the game over and over again. I knew every level extremely well because I would spend hours within them trying to mimic their look. Beyond that, my brothers and I played through this game together multiple times, since the co-op mode was just that fun. All this time is what led to the discovery of the glitch. Now this glitch doesn't have an official name to my knowledge unless someone wants to correct me, so I'll just call it the Level Start Warp Star Glitch. In lots of levels in Kirby Superstar, Kirby typically enters the stage on a warp star. This warp star follows a set path, and it can slam through enemies and even pass through walls. After this animation is done, the warp star explodes and the player can move Kirby. This type of intro sequence is used over and over in the game, so it's very common to encounter it. But in very rare circumstances, this warp star can glitch out, and this is where the problem starts because I don't have any footage to back this up. So hear me out on the explanation. Instead of the warp star traveling from point A to point B, the warp star instead explodes early. Sometimes immediately on spawn, sometimes a little bit later. So what does this do? Well, it lets Kirby move in the intro sequences of the levels. Now, we're talking about 25 years here, so my memory isn't the best. But I know of three levels this happened at, although I'm sure there are others. The one I can immediately think of being the most memorable was Mount Dedede in Spring Breeze. After you choose the stage, Kirby flies in on a star and starts traveling through the hallway. The star then crashes, and Kirby flies through a wall and lands near a door. Normally, you cannot go back at this point, but when this happened to me, I actually got stuck in this small room. There isn't anything to do in this room, but I couldn't escape it. Other levels I remember this happening in was Aqualus in Milky Way Wishes, where Kirby's star exploded upon the water's impact and at Half Moon. In Aqualus, you could swim above the screen crop where all the fishes were at, and in Half Moon, you be below the floor. I'm sure this happened at other levels too, but these are the three that I remember. So what causes this? It could be just totally random. On another front, I have an idea, but if I'm being honest, I can't fully confirm that this is what caused the issue. But I'm thinking it has to do with a mechanic associated with overloading the game with input information, or by executing multiple inputs at the same time. By now, you may have heard of the term arbitrary code execution, or ACE, when it comes to speedrunning. Essentially, by inputting precise commands, the player is able to control what data gets written to the game so that when called upon, this specific data triggers a different function than it normally would. That's how a player can start Ocarina of Time, do some weird stuff, and then warp to the defeat of Ganondorf or even the credits. Data is rewritten through inputs and precise in-game actions, so that when it is referenced, the directions tell it to do something else than what it is supposed to do. And all this is done from within the game itself. Now I bring this up because there is one factor I cannot rule out, and that's a possible influence of the Tyco Power Plug controller adapter. This device came out in 1993 and was a game changer. We used these sometimes as a kid, and it would basically grant you turbo functions and other weird input setups that would affect the game. Your controller plugged into the device, and the device plugged into the system. Now like I said, I can't confirm this was always in use when this glitch happened. It was a long time ago. But I bring it up because this allowed the player to execute an insane amount of inputs in a time span that is inhuman. Like constant fully charged plasma attacks every attack. It isn't a direct game altering cheat or game shark that actually changes what is going on in the game. It's just spamming buttons so fast that the character immediately gets charged every time. So my thought was that maybe it was this that influenced the warp stars crashing early. 
Much like Ace, maybe the overloaded inputs that I didn't even know I was doing caused the animation to reach the end before it even began. The logic in the game was altered and influenced by the spamming of inputs. This certainly isn't unheard of, but it's the one theory I can think of. We never owned a Game Shark, and I don't have access to a Tyco power plug currently, so I can't exactly test this hypothesis. Beyond that, attempting to recreate this through emulation might not give accurate results. However, I'm not the expert here, but perhaps one of you watching might be. So now I have to ask, have any of you watching experienced this glitch before? If so, do you know how to recreate it? Or is it something actually mentioned online? It's been bugging me for a while, so please let me know so I can put one of these weird childhood mysteries to rest. Thanks for watching, and cheers.